Everyone forgot to turn on my microphone. All right, so um, today we're gonna be talking about ISM's big rally yesterday. So congratulations sa mga naniwala sa atin. Parang politiko ba? Pasensya ng gulo ng background ko. <laughs> right, um, ISM uh, has a bit had a big rally yesterday. It closed at ano ba yung um nine uh, six point forty two, and we're expecting for it to still. Go on an uptrend. It's been the highest it has been for how many week weeks? Um, previous high niya po um, sa 7.44, which is our next resistance. Um, so, medyo mataas-taas pa ang in-expect natin. But I don't recommend it yesterday, uh, today. Um, baka, baka on the pullback pa. But it did do a breakout. We'll talk about the chart later on. But in the end, still, congratulations po sa mga pumasok kay ISM at naniwala at ng bodega sa baba and... Ayan po, um, 6.42 um, Laki, laki ng gain Very big volume yesterday So we're expecting for it to do an uptrend Pero huwag um, antay muna ng pullback Just keep buying the dips, ganun lang lagi for ISM Right, PSEI Yesterday, stalemate muna Hindi ma- nasyadong gumala We're still at 7,800 <clears throat> So um, I'm expecting a little pullback Especially ang international market Nagsisibagsakan, so maybe Most probably PSEI is gonna drop a bit uh, before continuing a rally if ever mag uptrend man talaga si PSEI <clears throat> so yan po konti ingat sa mga trading pa rin still sideways market we'll talk more about that really quick one moment please one that water please right so um, and I'll go to the ano, I'll go to the comments if you have any questions uh, if you have any comments um, please post it on the comments para mabasa po natin we'll go through it along the way um, I have a few recommendations for today. Should you want to entry, enter stocks, um, tignan niyo po ang mga companies na nire-recommend ko. And if you like the company, you can try to test it. All right? I, I handpicked a few uh, low-risk position for good companies right now. So, check it out. All right? Andyan po sa video description, but I'll go through that along the way. And po, um, let me just um, turn down the volume really quick. And so... Uh, let me go to the chat room. Yeah, so Mike, si first, uh, first si Mike na comment right? Good morning sa inyo. Right, Shells DV, lipad na nga. Congratulations sa mga um, nagbodega kay ISM. Took a while, but anyways, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. We're in it for long term, right? Don't really. Huwag ko po kayo magpapa-stress sa uh, short-term movement ng stocks, okay? Teka lang, ha? yung tat ko umakyat dito quiet Come here. Right, good morning wing gloria hops sir should i partially sell ism it depends if you're in it for short term um antay niyo magpula then pag nagpula yan then go ahead sell half if you want to kung malaki naman ang kita ninyo all right so sa mga nagbodega doon sa mga 4 4.8 ang galing ninyo all right so you can you can sell half if you want to if you're happy with your gains already yung laki-laki na rin ng gains na yan right um Ah, uh, 'yun. Kaya po, wag ko uh, kaya po sinasabi ko sa mga tao na wag mo na pasukin ngayon kasi may mga magbebenta diyan. Those who are entered at the very low level are gonna sell on you if ever um, bumili kayo ngayon. So, konti ingat, right? Joe Legales, morning. Sir Lloyd and Laika, good morning din. Francis Fahilan, good Friday morning. Sir Lloyd, good mo- good Friday morning. Uh, Addison C, sir, good morning. Uh, morning then Wing Gloria 1539 aabot sa ISM sir uh, I can't be sure we can't predict it but yeah with the money that it has right now if you consider its assets with the with the money that China gave you I'll give ISM yeah possible po aabot po dyan Jovi Tanel good morning sir Lord but I don't wanna hype it right Um, it will take time for stock to go there tingkita nyo si ATN ang, ang taas ng projection ni ATN pero hindi pa umaabot doon uh, same with PHA it will take time for stock to move. That's one of the lessons I want to tell you today. So, wag po magmadali, right? Always just keep buying the dips. It will it will give you a buy opportunity, right? For so ISM. Um, good morning, sir. Any insights on tender offer of Fen? Market price is way above the tender offer price of one point forty seven. Yun nga eh, baka hilain pa baba si ano eh. Baka hilain pa baba si Fen dahil jan, Jovi. Kasi if I am if I wanna invest in Fen. Right, uh, we're targeting investors here, hindi mga chupitero. If I want to invest in Fen, I won't buy the common shares that's in the market. Ngayon. I'll, I'll go for the tender offer, diba? 
Who wouldn't? Diba? Kasi ang mura, 1.44 si Fen ngayon. Magkano na? Let me double check si Fen. Right, so 2.08 na si Fen. So baka hilain si Fen. Let me show the chart. Uh, we're seeing lower highs here. So these are bad signals. Right? So um, that's why I don't want to recommend Fen right now. Tsaka nasa taas na naman siya. It's really, uh, it's really not an avenue to play Fen. So let it, let the market do its thing. Okay? So I don't want to recommend Fen because of the tender offer. Revo Carl Nilolai Reveal. Good morning, sir. Lloyd, good morning then. Dexter Lopez, mang buntag, sir. Attendance na sad ko. Yeah, and happy trading, especially sa Al Safa family ng Doha, Qatar. Good morning po sa inyo dyan. Wealth Gainer, good morning. Coach Travador, good morning, everyone. And sir Lloyd, BPI and MBT, please. BPI is in one, one of my recommendations for today. Um, so let's go sa let's si MBT MBT says dahan na natin yan in a bit Emily Goltz good morning sir Lloyd good morning then Emily Gultiano yan Joy P good way sir Lloyd taas ng lipad ni ISM kahapon chill mode lang muna kasi bagsak pa din ang international market tama tama chill mode lang um, yun lang dapat uh, that's what I've been telling you the past few days and it's been effective eh, yung mga pinapasok ko lately yung mga nasa baba yun na rin yung kumikita sa akin yung mga nasa taas medyo hindi gumagalaw kaya wag po kayong pumasok sa mga nasa taas na kasi wala po hindi, wala pong gaano papasok dyan right um, hirap maglaro sa taas right Arnold Medic uh, good morning Josephine Marcelo good morning sir uh, IDC DNL right IDC and DNL MRSGI please hindi ko na check ang chart ng DNL ka, kanina kasi ayaw mag load tignan ko ulit ngayon Right, so I'll write these down. Right, IDC DNL Mars GI Rockin Rockinson Tianco. Good morning, good day. Um, uh, Shells DV ISM B Core, uh, CPG Breakout. Tama. X with bullish divergence. Tama. Very good picks. Shells DV getting better. Si B Core lumipad din. Si CPG grabe rin. I Told you before last year October. Sabi ko sa inyo magbaday ka na ng CPG. One of my uh, bagger picks and I kept, kept telling you guys this is gonna be the reversal of the century I remember that um, CPG let me open the chart right dito pa yun si CPG around this area right? I started recommending CPG here umakit ng konti then bumagsak and then uh, recommended it here still and then there it is grabe ng akyat magkano na ba ngayon hindi ko na na check yung port covered CPG eh and so already 47% and I think this is still gonna go high uh, in the coming uh, future pero huwag niyo pong pasukin ngayon masyado mataas na always wait for the pullback magkakaroon po kayo ng opportunity to get in X with bullish divergence definitely just wait for the uh, um, confirmation bounce of X and then you can trade it pero I don't wanna recommend it pero may pera sa busura dito sa stock market so baka gumalaw di ba um, good morning bro PHA and Mac bro um from this is from Richard Olarte. All right, I'll write these down. And Richard Olarte. Oops, P H A. All right, so ay nga pala guys sa uh, mangisda.org. Thank you so much. We are fully booked. Um, if you want to check it out, zero available na po lahat. But though there are 60 pending, there are still pending in wave 1. There's pending in wave 2. Uh, pending in wave 3 so abang sa mga gusto pa pong pumasok abangan nyo po in the morning usually uh, pag gabi gabi ko po um, after of, uh, usually at 7pm magko-close 7 to 8pm magko-close po ako yung mga na nag-reserve na nag-expire na more than 5 days na hindi nila tinuloy i-open namin yung units na yun so pwede pa po kayong humabol check out later mga 8pm may mag a available po niyan same as last night meron nag-available dito ng mga 12 units right so tonight uh, yung mga nag uh, yung mga nag-reserve one week ago we're gonna be uh, closing their uh uh, the reservation so baka makapasok pa po kayo alright so mga gustong humabol pa check out pero konti na lang po wala pong available yun puro, puro reserved na po kasi yeah. so we're just waiting on for the reservations and then meron kasi mag-expire na naman na reservations tonight so mga nag-reserve last week na 5 working uh, 5 backing days ago na please po um, I this is your last day for the uh, sending of the funds and then after that, if ever wala po kami matanggap ngayon, we're gonna be canceling your reservation and to make it available for others who really want to uh, invest in mangista.org, right? So, ang susunod po nito, most probably, after one harvest na po, um, ang, proj um, ang aim kasi, ng um, ang goal kasi ng mangista.org ngayon is, af um, 
next week, uh, no, not next week, after next week, I'm gonna go personally to Mindanao and to supervise the creation of the cages. Gagawin ko sa yung mga cages. So, we'll, we're gonna make it as transparent as possible. Makikita nyo po doon ginagawa ang cages. And then, after that, every week, um, there will be updates in the Facebook groups. Photos and videos will be uploaded on para kamustahin nyo po yung mga isda. <laughs> diba? And then, um, after that, after five months, uh, five months kasi yung pagpapakain sa mga bangus. Um, the harvest, we're gonna be uploading the financials behind it. And then after that, we're gonna open new cages uh, for for the project. So, most probably, dun pa kami mag-open ulit. Right? So, um, check it out. Hindi na po kami mag-open ng waves ngayon. Um, we just want, really wanna start small. Four should be enough to start. Right? So, thank you so much sa mga nag-support sa mayisla.org. Um, meron pa po pong chance makapasok later um, mga 8 p.m. Alright, uh, I'll, I'll I'll schedule 8 p.m. There will be open slots yung mga pending last week na hindi nag ano. Every 8 p.m. may mao open po na mga units. Okay, Jeffrey Sahagun, good morning mga kawan o one. Amil Angelo, good morning Sir Lloyd, good morning everyone. Breakout sa ISM and CPG, congratulations. Ella Montfalco, ganda umaga. Regal Mantak, Aba and ABS Sir, Aba and ABS Alright, this time. Sige, daanan ko na ang mga ito while we go through um same ano para mas um hindi what they call this hindi dragging la tulad ng mga dating mga episodes All right so first one may question about kay MBT kanina let me uh sorry let me share my screen MBT All right so here so Metro Bank um i think it's good i think it's doing well um yun nga lang napo pull back pa siya let's see if um if ever mag bounce na sa support. Abangan niyo po sa support si Metro Bank, right? Kala ko ito na 'yung ano eh. Kala ko ito na 'yung pullback and bounce niya. Eh. So hindi talaga siya nag-ano. 'Yun 'yung problema kay Doji. It's really an uh, hindi natin alam talaga kung anong decision ng market when it comes to these Doji's. Doji's is ito 'yung X ng mga candlesticks, undecided ang market if it should go up or if it should go down. And ayun, bumaba. And then we have a support right here. Um, let's see what will happen in the future. You don't have to be very aggressive anyways. Nasa baba pa naman ito. But any green soon, yung green talaga na green candlestick, that will be our entry point. Right? So, Metro Bank, IDC. And IDC, nasa support po ito. Kaso, nag-fail na support. But, um, nag-fail siya na support pero maliit lang naman. We are at major support still. So, sa mga gustong pumasok kay IDC, abangan nyo lang po muna yung bounce. Right? Yung bounce. Right? Wait for the bounce before you wanna enter IDC. Next naman is question is DNL. Sana mag-load na ito. Ayaw mag-load ni DNL kanina. Ayun. So, DNL, support is still holding. Um, though, mas, mal, mas mababa yung position niya na support compared to the others. But RSI at that level is starting to go up already. So, this, uh, this is bodega for me. Even if it goes down, I just buy more DNL. This is the lowest part of DNL. And we're at that area. Kung bumaba man yan, just keep buying more. This is a good company. Aakyat din po yan. So, you don't have to really stress yourself for short-term movements um, for DNL. Kasi sure naman yung company na yan. Sure yung performance last of the moment. MRSG, I, um, uh, doing a pullback now. Uh, this is the previous re resistance, so that becomes becomes our support. So let's just wait for the green before we wanna get in MRSGI. Pag nag pull back yan, aman ah pag nag bounce yan, that will be a confirmation of the breakout uh, resistance that became the support. So that will be our entry point. So ingat mo na kay MRSGI, wait for the bounce. PHA, kamo sa natin si PHA, bumagsak to kahapon eh. So BHA yesterday dropped uh, and broke support. So uh, so mga nag short term nito, you cut your losses, okay? If you're doing short term, na hit most probably na hit yung cut loss niyo. This was the support uh, negative uh, 4.68 yung drop niya. So downtrend na si PHA. Um, so you cut your losses if you're in it for short term. I am in it for medium to long term. So ang ginagawa ko po dito is nagbobodega lang ako while it tips because overall Sorry, malaki ang pera na hawak ni PHA, di ba? So, um, foreign companies are investing in the company. That should be a good sign. Why shouldn't we invest in them also, di ba? The money that it has right now, um, ang laki, di ba? And we're just waiting for catalysts for PHA. Saan nila ilalagay yung pera? Anong business ang gagawin nila with the money that it has? So, when that happens, it should go up. So, just 
bodega lang ang um, really my recommendations for speech a eh. right mac naman um si mac um depende po yan talaga sa strategy niyo okay kay pha um for short term traders yung mga akala niyo support then aakyat na and if that's your purpose only then just get out right away right um my strategy here is really for mid to long term so um bodega po ini iniintay ko po ang ginagawa ko po kay uh, kay PHA um Mac um nagpo pull back pa so let's see what will happen if it gives us a bounce that that will be a higher low that will be a good entry point for Mac but for now wala pa po pong signal si Mac aba yun si aba still touching the lower lower Bollinger Band so I think babagsak pa ito si ABBA so don't wanna recommend it yet you don't have to be aggressive in ABBA ABS si ABS naman nag-break ng support sadly so sa mga traders you ha you can cut your losses if you want to um, mukhang bumabagsak pa si, uh, si ABS eh. so always cut your losses guys uh, especially for your short short term uh, for your short term stocks um, I can recommend na magbodega kay ABS if ever ayun yung mag-cut loss since napakamura niya na po. Very undervalued right now si ABS-CBN, right? One of the most undervalued stocks. So, I'd say magbodega lang po na ABS even if it keeps going down, okay? Um, but for short-term people, I mean, short-term, yung purpose ninyo na pum pumasok kay ABS, you cut your losses if your cut losses hit. Um, this is already negative. How many negative percent? Uh, maliit pa lang naman eh. Right, so I usually cut loss negative 3 below support. So, malayo-layo pa yung cut loss if ever. Okay, so up to you. Um, ano ang purpose nyo talaga? So, ABS, I don't want to recommend buying it yet. Let's see what will happen in the future um, for ABS price action. Um, I'll go to your comments again. BJ, as an investor, pwede ba dumagdag kay ISM? As much as possible po. You don't have to be aggressive kay ISM. Huwag po kayo maiingit sa pag-akit niyan. I'd say always wait for the pullbacks before you wanna get in. These pullbacks right here, itong mga pullback na ito, these are not the avenues to buy because this is the sell area. Right yung nasa taas. Kung kailan nagsisell yung mga tao, doon yung binibili. Mali po yun. Dapat dito sa baba. Dapat nyo binibili. So, you don't have to worry about ISM. Wag po, you don't, wag kayo, di, di nyo kailangan magmadali, BJ. Especially if ever, um, napapanood nyo naman ang market. You can well, check out the market every day. Then, you don't have to uh, really be aggressive. Unless na, yung wala ka talagang oras to watch the market, then you just buy and then let it be. Right? Mark our basis ng 50, sa 15 pesos na share sa ISM. Um, I will have to, ano, oh, we will have to, ano lang yan eh, speculative, uh, speculative um, projection lang yan kasi um, meron kasing lumabas na uh, report kay, uh, kay Udena noong 2017. Um, it's financial reports pero sa company lang yun. Uh, you can see it at their website and then dinagdag lang ang, ano, ang, yung pera na binigay ni, ano, binigay ni, ni China sa kanila, which is 280 billion. So, that's very big. So, if you add that, that up to, ano, to their, uh, what do you call this, to their assets, eh, you sh it's around 15 pesos, but that's speculative, right? Um, it's a speculative um, projection of Udena. Okay? Wala pong official source yan. So, I don't wanna hype it there, right? Just, um, it's just that, uh, ang gusto ko lang sabihin for Udena is, if China, if China Tel is investing that much in the company, then it's really confident that it will go up, right? So why not? Why don't we try to try to try them out also? Pero wag nyo lang po all in po dyan, okay? Wag nyo po, wag na wag po kayo mag all in. Kasi baka magka bad news dyan sa ISM, lagapak kayo dyan. So don't go, never go all in in one stock. Kasi meron ako mga kakilala, tinatanong ko, ano ba yung cost averaging stocks niyo? Kasi you have to do cost averaging still, okay? And then I tell me, si ISM lang po, nako. That's wrong investing, right? You're not very wise in your investing. Gusto niyo shortcut, right? Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pa insights kay WPI. 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 Um, yan po. Um, Nagpo-pull back pa si WPI. That's very good for WPI. Let's see if it will bounce anytime soon. The bounce will be our entry point. But for now, wala pa po. So, um, no need to be aggressive today. Johnny Lachica, good morning. Sir Lloyd, curious lang ako sa price movement ni OV. Pare-parehas, pwede bang maglabas-pasok sa inyong itong stocks? Yes, definitely. Problem lang kay OV is ang hirap pasukin yan. Million-million na kapila dyan. So, what you do with the OV is just pumila kayo sa 1.01.10. Uh, 1, uh, 
And then, you just sell it at point 120. You can do that, right? Pero matagal-tagal lang po kayong pumasok dito. So, um, uh, mag-GTC lang kayo. Siguro mga 2 to 3 days average. Or usually, it, took, it takes me 5 days before ako makapasok dito. And then, once nakapasok ako, isa-sell ko sa 120. Right? So, medyo matagal-tagal din makabenta. So, GTC style din. But, pwede po yan. Right? Pwede po yan for OV. Alright, Captain Sid, good morning Sir Lloyd, good morning then Sir, sa tipo, yun si Tia, lakas ng galaw kahapon eh. I'm not really sure bakit. Alright, there should be something with T kasi gap up siya eh. It's, there's no reason for this to open in a gap up. So, yun ang problema natin, wala tayong insider. So, hindi natin alam anong meron kay T. Right? Um, <clears throat> I don't want you to go chasing this without knowing what is happening. Um, if someone knows, please post it in the Billionaires Club, most definitely. But here, again, never go after stocks na nasa missed opportunity na. Wait for it to, to pull back before you wanna get in. Yoni Pioca, good morning, sir. Good morning then. Um, Ed's, uh, Ed's uh, Damage, um, good morning, Sian Lau. Good morning, Junior PIP. Ito, maraming nagka-hype kay PIP ngayon. Eh, kasi daw dahil sa contest nila. Anyways, it did touch the upper ball in Japan yesterday. Um, kaso nga lang, we're at resistance levels. Always wait for the pullback before you wanna get in. You don't have to enter that stock up there. Right? If it's a missed opportunity, wag po kayo maiingit. Antay lang tayo ng pullback kay PIP. IRC also, dito sa support natin, nire-recommend yan. Medyo mataas na po ngayon. So, konti ingat lang muna. Right? I don't wanna recommend IRC now kasi medyo mataas na yung risk. As much as possible, dapat doon sa baba. Hindi nyo inaano sa taas. Dapat pumasok na kayo sa baba, kahit tas buy lang. So, si now, recommended now here. So far, so good. Um, kumusta yun natin? Magkano na yung risk natin kay now? So, around 6% na. Up to you. I think, pwede pa yan. Um, sa mga ano, especially na si now, nasa baba. Showing us good signs of reversal, right? It's already showing us a good bottom. So, yun. Um, that's why I recommended now the past few days. And then, pwede na po siya. Pwede pa habulin ngayon. Um, just make sure you cut loss if ever bumaba yan. Pero napakababa na ni Naos. Ang mararecommend ko dyan is magbodega lang kayo kay Nao kasi nasa 2 pe pesos pa lang. That's very cheap for Nao Corp. Right? MPI. MPI um, nagpo-pullback na so that's what we're waiting for. Um, did recommend it here and umakit na po siya. Then nagpo-pullback as expected. We're always waiting for pullback and then Wait for the bounce lang before you wanna enter MPI. It can bounce today. So, baka mag-bounce today. Pwede nyo pong tingnan. ISM, nasa taas na po yan. Wait na lang po tayo ng next na pullback before you wanna enter. So, congratulations sa mga nakapasok. Uh, yung mga hindi pa nakapasok, sadly, that's the problem with not entering. Um, Mag-antayin lang tayo ng next opportunity. Huwag po kayong maiingit dyan sa taas. Maiipitin lang kayo niyan. Right? So, huwag pong papasok sa taas. Be responsible with your trading and your risk uh, risk management. Wala um wala pong risk management pag pumasok kayo diyan sa taas ang hirap po niyan. So Roland Hamela, good morning. Sa tanong about APX and Alco, let's check out APX. Si APX, um marami ako nababasa sa APX na group, lagi nag nagdadasal na lang eh, di ba? <laughs> APX um, Gold Diggers Group eh, pabagsak na pabagsak so still on a massive downtrend but RSI is already there so let's see what will happen um, pag naabot ito ng magandang RSI I'd say testing hin natin right? but for now wag muna wala pa siyang reversal signs Al Alco si Alco naman Ayan, si Alco nag break ng support so, I think we know where this is going for now. So, wala pong market sentiments talaga kay Alco for now. So, baka bumagsak si Alco. So, ingat lang muna. Shells DV, how much minimum po sa investments sa mga yes.org? 6,500 lang po. And then, we are guaranteeing 20% uh, returns for for this year. And then, one year lang po unlock. And then, the future waves, uh, the future waves is you have the option for 6 months or um, 12 months na po. But just for this wave, for stability, um, we are um, we are locking it for 12 months for, for now, right? Um, Folaika, good morning. Um, raging Bull, morning, sir. PHA, please. Thanks. All right, so PHA. Um, we talked about PHA already. Sir Lloyd, possible ba mag-merge yung Chelsea at ISM? If yes, ano po uh, possible na mangyayari? Um, I don't think so na mag-merge sila. 
kasi si Chelsea is really um focusing more on logistics, shipping and mga gasolina. Um si Odena, I think Janila ay focus sa mga properties nila. Um eto Telco. Uh, so I think ginamit lang si Chelsea for the infrastructure pero majority pa rin si Odena mag-handle for the for the third Telco. Eh. So I don't think they're gonna merge. Joe Nar Aguilar para po yan kasi ano eh para siyang si SMP SM tsaka si SMPH uh, Ayala ALI and Ayala Corp so um magka-separate po sila hindi po sila magma-merge Jonar Aguilar good morning po hi my villa floor wala bang bayad yung pagpapagawa ng contract sa mangingisda um what we're gonna be giving you is um contract under us as lang and then if should you want to, it to be notarized just let us know um meron po siyang bayad pero shouldered po ng um ng ano ng ng investor ang pagpapanotarize right one Miguel Flores or any thoughts po kay Maxes and AC let's check out Maxes and AC Maxes right so Maxes downtrend pa po so ingat lang po muna AC Ayala Corp um so far so good we did talk about it at this bottom right here it's hitting resistance so nagpo pull back pa po siya Antay lang tayo ng bounce sa pullback niya before we wanna get in AC. Ben, mga good morning. May buntag sa tanan pa. Bati to my beautiful, healthy, sexy wife, Hannah, and to our wonder kids, Levin and Lian. Happy viewing here in Taiwan from Sugbuanon Tribe. Ayan, Sugbuanon rin pala na nasa Taiwan. Good morning po sa inyo dyan. Gio Vanzar, sana mag, uh, magka-seminar ako dyan. You guys will, uh, what they call this, you, you guys will support it. Ayan, Gio Vanzar, good morning sir. VLL and PLC po. Kamustayin natin si VLL. VLL. Ayan, si VLL still, the support is holding. So, bias lang the support holds pag nag-bounce today, definitely. And that's another confirmation of the support. Hopefully, it holds. And then, just, if ever bumagsak, you just have to cut your losses. But VLL is a good company, I'd say. Bodega, um, if it goes down, just buy more. Uh, PLC, um, medyo nasa, nasa taas pa. <laughs> so, ingat lang muna kay PLC. Maybe it's gonna drop. Nahihirapan po siyang mag-breakout. So, Ah, uh, abang lang ng pullback for PLC. Uh, Gabriel Ogad, good. Uh, Sir, Lo uh, Sir Lloyd, outlook on FNI is so good signs kay FNI. Eh. Right, so kamustahin natin si FNI. Yan. So this was the support of FNI. Doon tayo pumasok. Outlook, I'd say this is good. May good volume on the bounce yesterday. So congratulations sa mga pumasok dyan sa support. I don't want to recommend it now kasi meron ng tayong resistance dyan. Uh, risk to reward ratio is not, uh, not worth it um, pag ganyan. So... Um, don't wanna recommend it now, but outlook is looking good for FNI. Look at the RSI, napakalaki ng RSI ko, right? So pataas na po yung RSI niya, so there's momentum in the stock already. So congratulations sa mga pumasok kay FNI. At last, I think this is the reversal of FNI. So yung mga hindi nakapasok sa bottom, look for another entry na lang. Um, Cheng Martin, good morning, Sir Lloyd, and any insights on TBGI? Right, so TBGI, I did recommend it yesterday. Hindi ko nakamusta sa TBGI. Ah, yun. Okay pa rin si TBGI. Yesterday, I recommended it. It's one of my recommendations yesterday. So far, so good. Just buy as long as the ho um as long as this support holds. Itong support na ito. For TBGI, I'm recommending it because of this um divergence right there. I think, um I think lang. <laughs> na reversal na yan. So if I'm wrong, just cut your losses. If ever magkamali po tayo, alright? Jonar Aguilar, Popi CPG, si Popi um taas na. I don't want to recommend it there. I've been recommending Popi doon sa baba. So medyo ang hirap po basahin ng charts pag andito. Right? So si Popi, uh kaunting ingat lang muna kay Popi. Um CPG uh andyan rin yan sa taas. So let's wait for the pullback before you want to enter rin kay CPG. Um, Jerry, ito si Jerry, nasa taas rin. So, it's doing a pullback. That's good. Let's just try to wait for a bounce for Jerry. So, we have a support, form, forming a support here. Maybe test it here for Jerry, okay? Um, next kay Jerry is SMPH. SMPH then, um, nandiyan na sa gitna na si SMPH. Eh. So, um, maybe, most probably, alright, pwede ito. Alright, pwede ito sa SMPH, but as much as possible dito tayo sa support niya. Um, let it pull back and then let it bounce. Let's see what will happen. Kasi nasa gitna na siya support and resistance. Eh. Alright. Siguro pag nag green ito ulit today, you can get in. Right? Anyways, SMPH, wala kayong kakatakot dyan. Pag bumagsak man yan, just keep buying more SMPH. 
Don't have to cut your losses there. Frederick Vicente, good morning po Sir Lloyd. Musta kaya yung XRP? Sa Itoro pa akyat na po kaya siya ulit? So far so good. Um, Na-check out XRP. XRP kasi ang dami kong natatanggap na message. Sir Lloyd, i-cut loss na si XRP. Um, actually, no need for now. right? XRP is still, view chart natin ha. XRP is still playing at the support. Right? So I'm not um, not cutting losses. Yes sir, ang dami na nataranta kay XRP. <laughs> so here is the support of XRP. That's why I did not cut loss yesterday because I knew it is still in support. And ayon, nagbounce nga sa support, and then it's continuing the bounce. Though there's a descending triangle here, so um, hopefully mag break out siya pag nag break out yan, aakit yan. But so far, uh, checking out other cryptos eh, since sumasama naman ito mga ito. So Ethereum, um, ganun din ang mga ginagawa, nag sideways din sila. So we're just waiting on for it. I think this is gonna go bullish still. Um, we're just waiting for the breakout, right? So, still okay. Relax lang. <laughs> dami ko, dami yung comments kahapon eh. Let me check my, my, ano, my, uh, feed and uh, XRP. And, so, kalma lang tayo, besh. <laughs> biglang baba, may biglang angat to sa bayan ni ATH. Yan. So, medyo, kalma lang. Don't worry, don't worry. Medyo malaki-laki yung negative natin for, a, um, um, for May. Um, once the market recovers, we should be able to recover, right? Halos kami lahat ng mga copy tri- uh, pam- um, popular investors is pulahan sa me. So, hopefully, mag-materialize ang position natin at makabawi ng konti. Right, um, year trader, good morning sir, GMA7 po. Salamat. Right, GMA7, let's check out GMA7. Right, so GMA7, um, undecided lahat ng galaw eh. So, here, um, use the MA20 sa MA20 kayo pumasok as much as possible for GMA7. Um, IRC po, IRC keep buying the support for IRC. Asan yun? Biglang bumaba kasi yun. That was from Gab, Gabstaz. Right, insights po kay XRP. Uh, we just talked about it. Yuriko Dusena, good morning Sir Lloyd. Sira pa rin chart that PSE tools. Ano pong pwedeng gamitin na chart na kita yung number of bids? Actually, makikita nyo naman number of bids dito. Eh. Just go to Watcher. Uh, uh, am I right? Um, dito ba yun? Ito, bid and ask pala. So, makikita nyo naman po ang bids dito sa Investagrams. Wala na pong, ano, wala na pong PSC tools. Um, kinuha na po sila ni, ano, kinuha na po sila ni, uh, they call this ni, ni Phil Stocks. And then, um, I did inquire about it. Only fill stocks users will be able to use um, PSC tools, right? I mean, yon sila sila chupetot. So sadly, hindi na po pwede sa public yan. Once if ever ma ma connected ka na sa ano connected ka na sa isang broker, kasi only the clients will be able to use that. Okay, so and um. Here, Akabado, sir. Quick insights kay Alco. We just talked about it. Um, Popi, CPG, and FLI po. Um, Popi, CPG, we checked that out. FLI, ito si FLI, hindi pa. Fill invest. Alright, so fill invest, nagpo-pull back. Alright, that's good. Just wait for the bounce for fill invest before we wanna test it out. Pag nag-bounce yan sa MA20, and at least we have an MA20 bounce. I love that kind of trading. So, wala pa ngayon. May disclota kahapon yung T-coach. Alright, tingnan nga natin yung disclosure ni t Ayan yung dahilan. Ay, hindi naman to. Mag-issue lang sila ng shares eh. That really doesn't matter that much. Amendment on articles. Siguro ito. Let me open it really quick. Uh, further disclosure, dated amendments, articles in comparison, includes authorized capital stocks, coverage units, seven uh, blah blah blah. I'll check this out. Nag two per share na sila. So, ah, okay, this is good. This is good. All right, we'll have a different discussion about that uh, in the coming days. Okay, kaya pala hindi ko napansin yung news kay Tia. Alright, anyways, let's go to uh, my recommendations for today. Ito po, I'll post it on the comments. LPZ, uh, PHR, RCI, and BPI. So, number one, si Lopez. Alright, I did, I did recommend this the past few days uh, dito sa baba. And nag-uptrend na siya. Meron na po tayong higher low. So, I'm recommending 
LPZ now. This is our new support for LPZ. Good bounce volume for LPZ. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok na na-recommend ko yan. And then, it's time to buy more sa mga hindi pa nakapasok. Um, yeah, this is the buy more uh, level for LPZ. Ang ganda ng volume ng bounce niya. LPZ, PHR naman. Si PHR, um, kaka-breakout lang yesterday. So, we were waiting for that breakout. Use a breakout strategy for PHR if you wanna get in PHR. Next one is RCI naman. RCI, um, we're seeing very good um, price action sa RCI and the, uh, what they call this, and the, RSI still is already going up. So, I'd say P, uh, RCI is good to go. Yet, pwede nyo po i-testing yan. Test nyo lang po dito sa support. Anyway, slow risk naman yung position niya for RCI. And lastly is BPI. BPI just confirmed the support again. And that's a buy for me. Right? I'd say buy tayo for BPI. And if ever it goes down, just keep buying more and keep buying more. Right? Sayang po yung opportunity na nasa baba na yan. Hindi natin alam kung babagsak yan. So, yung yung mga iba kasi baka bumagsak pa sir Lord, doon lang ako sa baba bumili. Eh, what if umakyat? Right? There's always two sides of uh, of a sword, uh, double-edged sword. So, always imply a strategy na kahit anong mangyari, pag pumasok ka dito, pag bumagsak man yan, you're still okay because you have money to buy more. And if umakit man yan, then that's still okay kasi nakapasok ka na. Diba? So, just buy. Test buy there, BPI. Sa yung opportunity na yan. Okay? So, those are my picks for today really quick. Ayan po. Si ISM, um, we'll review about ISM. Si ISM did move big yesterday. We were expecting it to move do noong naglabas ng news pero it took two days bago umakyat. So, still, very good for ISM. So, congratulations sa mga nagbodega kay ISM. Um, worth it naman yung bash na natanggap ko when I kept recommending na magbodega kay ISM dito sa baba. <laughs> congratulations sa mga nakabili kay ISM. I think this is gonna go on an uptrend but for the buyers, don't wanna recommend it. Always wait for the pullbacks before you wanna enter. Huwag po kayo maiingit sa mga lumilipad na, napapansin ko, ang dami na namang nagpo-post about ISM, wag na wag po kayo magpapahype dyan. Okay? So, antay lang tayo ng pullback. Um, Wealth Gainer, good morning coach. Any recommendations of good trading stocks? Yan po, yung mga um, ano ko, recommendations. Mark, R. Alvin, and Ciso, good morning Sir Lloyd. Green po, pwede na bang pasukin? Si Green, kawasin natin si Green. Ang laki ng negative kasi ni Green eh. Alright, so, I don't wanna recommend Green. Um, I think babagsak pa ito sa green, right? But there is support right here, right? If you want to test it out, wait for the bounce that will confirm a support before you wanna enter green, okay? So, konti ingat lang muna kay green. Uh, Bull and Bear, good day. Alvin Rabanes, good morning. Sir, PHA, RRC, at ABBA po. Uh, right, we talked about these already. Si ABBA din, I think we did. Um, kay ABBA, nagtatouch pa sa lower Bollinger Band. So, I think babagsak pa yan. So, konti ingat muna kay ABBA. VUL po. Ito si VUL. Gumaganda si VUL. Eh, nag, um, it's been showing us good support lately. So, test out the support if you want to. Price action-wise, okay naman siya. But earnings-wise, medyo um, kulela tayo kay Vulcan. That's why I haven't been recommending it. But though, we have a good support already. So, test out the support if you still want to go get in VUL. Especially, nasa baba naman siya. Why not, di ba? Alfred Reyes, I've, I've been busy from work. Anong meron? Tumahas po si ISM. Nangyari kasi is um, yung ISM na franchise nila from Miss Latel, di ba? Ang daming issues na franchise ni Miss Latel uh, last year. Yun yung tinira ng opposition ng government. Um, kasi baka daw ganito, eh, baka daw hindi makapasa sa um, yung renewal, hindi makapasa sa uh, sa kongreso so magkaka problema si uh, si ISM on on what they call this on rolling out it's uh it's uh, the business right yung telco so yun yung isa ka problema isang problema ng tinitira ni ng opposition number two na issue nila is really um what if um magka baka hindi ma-renew di ba baka hindi ma-renew nasabi ko na yata, right? But that, that was the main problem. Kaya nahirapan nung gumalaw si ISM. So, ang ginawa ni ISM is nag-roll out pa rin sila kahit wala pa pong um, definite uh, uh, resolution sa issue nila with the, uh, what do you call this, with the franchise. So, ang ginawa ni ISM is uh, they requested na matransfer ang franchise to them. Yun po yung trailing na part eh, kasi daw baka hindi ma-aprobahan ng Congress. And, 
you know the Congress now, um, even the Senate now is under the under administration, so they're up for it. That's what I've been telling uh, everyone before. I don't think mahirapan sila because if it goes to Congress, you know who holds the Congress. It's the President. So, it will go through pa rin. And yun, nag-go through nga. There were just people, siguro mga investors na iniintay talaga yung sure na talaga. We were speculating at first and then, yun, um, our speculation was right, kaya lumapad si ISM. Right? Um, CPG from them, um, Gemma Domingo, um, medyo mataas na po si CPG antay lang po tayo ng pullback hi sir can I have Ch- uh, can I have Chelsea and ISM at the same time yes pwede naman yan um, kasi si uh, si Chelsea hindi naman ano meron din naman business na different si Chelsea like hawak niya si Tugo um, ngayon um, yung TransAsia yung shipping nila right it, which isn't under Odena so yun po yes you can ha- uh, you can have Chelsea and ISM at the same time uh, for the business, for the different fields of businesses that they have. But if you're in it for telco, I'd say you then na nalang hawakan mo. Right, Francis Pawik, Sir Lloyd, good morning. Insights for Fen. Salamat from the Polog City. I see Fen, medyo mataas po. Si Fen, P-H-E-N. And so, I can't recommend Fen as of the moment, especially na nag-tender offer sila ng 1.4 ba yun? So, I'd go for the tender offer na lang instead. So, I don't think people will be buying it here and then just buy the tender offer instead if ever gusto nila mag-invest. Kri Pagalan, good morning Sir Lloyd. Insights po kay IRC and VLL. Napag-usapan natin mga yan. Rodrigo Mumanglag, DNL Sir. Pwede na ba? Yes, definitely. Mr. TIA. Sure about green. We talked about that. GB. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. To Miss Apple and Laika, pabati na sa p- pinakagwapo at macho kong asawa at nanonood din ngayon. Galing. Right. Thank you, GB, and to your husband. Thank you. Happy trading to all. Ken, maka pugay. Kahit makaisa lang ako sa sports car na pinamimigay ni Pip. Ayos na ako. <laughs> Yan yung ina-hype nila kay uh, kay ano eh, kay Pepsi eh. So, <laughs> up to you guys. Um, I also trade with fundamentals in mind so far. PIP has been show, um, hasn't been showing me um, yung good fundamentals to really conf- convince me to um, to enter the stock, right? Um, though price action is doing well, right? Um, sa mga technical analysis traders jan, antay kayo ng pullback and entry. Pwede po, baka umakyat, di ba? Oliver de Guzman, may bagong support um na sir yung LR kamusta natin si LR ni ko na tinitingnan si LR eh. wala pa wala pa si LR so just wait for it to do pull, a pullback before you wanna enter LR Ryan Conception FNI po ata sir Lord cross trade lang ah okay so FNI cross trade lang pala yun kay ano yung 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 volume niya so I didn't check it out cause FNI has not been in my watch list lately so then again wait na lang uh, it's still in the middle so I don't wanna recommend it right now. Okay, da- dapat dito sa support niyo test test yan. Huwag diyan sa gitna ng support and resistance. Mike Brinson Ong, ano po effect ng increase of 10 billion authorized capital stock and approval sa ISM. And check approval sa ISM. Is this for ISM? Meron bang um capital stock na 10 billion authorized capital stock na ISM? I'll check it out, right? Um uh, hindi ko pa nakikita yung buong uh, what you call this yung buong what you call this yung buong uh, disclosure and I'll consult it with a broker friend of mine siya yung, siya yung kinoconsult ko lagi when it, when it comes to this ano I tell you guys honestly I'm not a financial analyst um, hindi po ako nag uh, I'm not a stock market analyst kasi right I have friends who I always go to and ask about these questions they're the experts and then they I asked for their permission okay lang ba i share ko into info na ito and then if they say yes I share it to everyone right so I'll just consult with them kasi malaki niyan 10 billion right so I'll check it out Isabella M so pag-usapan natin yun sa Monday Isabella M I Sir Lloyd pwede pa check yung BPI uh, BPI is in one of my recommendation for today and DMC and po si DMC um, nagpo-pull back pa. Let's see what will happen. But overall, downtown kasi si DMC. So, konti ingat lang muna. But if it gives us a higher low, that's good price action. So, I'd say that will be good. Alright. Antay lang ng bounce. Abib, Shabibs. Ayan. Um, ano na yan? Abib, Shabibs. Good morning. GMA. We talked about that already. Si Meg po. Alright. Kamusay natin si Meg. M-E-G. 
Time check is 9.02. That time check is brought to you by Itoro <laughs> at 2Trade Asia. Ayan. Um, Meg, um, uh, um, nag-sideways siya. But it's doing a pullback right now. Let's see what will happen in the future. We need further uh, price action to know for sure ako anong, anong gagawin natin. But for Meg, though, nag-break na siya ng MA20. Somehow, MA20 is starting to start, starting to look sideways. So, mukhang magsa-sideways ito. Let's see what will happen. Maka mag, mag-support dyan. Pag nag-support dyan, that will be a good entry point for Meg. MBT Sir Lloyd, okay ba magbodega na muna at ng bonga-bonga matagal pa matulog si MBT? Hindi naman. Um, it's just that the market has been bearish right now. Yun, okay, MBT. Even on the bearish market, mga kiat nga yan. Eh, diba? So, MBT, yes, magbodega kayo dyan. That's a good company to get into. Pwede po. Right. Francis Rahilan, Sir Lloyd, paano po mang save chart sa eToro? Um, um, for example, eto ni chart nyo. Just go to templates. Eto study templates. Click on save indicator template. And then, it will ask you to name the template. And then, there it is. And then, once na meron na, just go to this spot right here. And then, load chart layout. And then, ganyan po. Bell Cats, MBT, Sir Lloyd. Uh, uh, tapos na pala yan. Juan Miguel Flores, Sir Insights kay JFC. Kamustahin natin yung bubuyog. And so, JFC nagpo-pull back pa. Let's see what will happen. Uh, if it makes a higher low, definitely that will be a buy. Bilhin nyo na po yan pag nag-bounce yan sa JFC. Okay? Lu Weng, good morning. PHA and VLL, please. Uh, we talked about these already. Melinda C, wala, pong, wala pa po chupeto at email from Phil Stocks if kailan available. Oo, hindi pa po. Um, matagal-tagal po po yan kasi incorporate pa yan. Ang dami pang programming yan. Good morning, sir. Saan nangyari po kay PHA? Lagapak na ata support. Um, that happens, so not have to react that much. Yeah, it's painful, but if you know your strategy, you don't have to fear it. Ang right? um, strategy ko kasi dito is if it goes further down, I'll just buy it more. Um, sa mga traders, sa mga short term, you just cut your losses. Ganun lang. Right? So, please, uh, ganito po yan in the stock market. If you know who you are, if you have defined your strategy already, whatever happens to the market, um, you won't fear it. Kasi alam mo anong gagawin. Right? A, a wise trader is always a step ahead. If this happens, you know what to do. If that happens, you know what to do. Always apply that. Okay? So, you have to know yourself when you're trading. George, De Los Santos, good morning, sir. Lloyd. watching you every day here in Oman. Good morning, sir. Nyo, on apaka aga pa jengan. Waking up early in the morning just to watch the program. Every day na ako tips from you. Lot of my OFW here learn trading from this. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. I'm happy that the program is uh, helping you guys. Right. Good morning po sa inyo dyan. Regards po ako sa mga kaibigan natin, mga OFW dyan sa Oman. Mike, good morning, sir. Pa-review po kay Web FNI. Si Web naman. So far so good kay Web, right? Um after this bounce right here, nag tuloy pa rin si Web though. May problema tayo. We have a possible resistance there. Let's see what will happen there. Maybe mag break out pag nag break out, that is a cup and handle, right? So pag nag break out yan, that's a good entry point or baka mag pull back and then bounce, diyan lang tayo pumasok. So Web, so far, I don't want to enter it today, but definitely abangan niyo po ang entry points niya. That is going to be a very good company moving forward. Si Web, FNI, we talked about FNI already. CPG from Will Marquez, masyado mataas na po yan. <laughs> taas na po yan. Um, huwag niyo pong pabasukin yan sa taas. WMC. Ano yung WMC? Hindi ko po alam yan, Juvan. <laughs> Troy Caracho, good morning sir. BPI please. Excuse me. Um, Troy Caracho. Kakacho. Good morning. BPI is in my re- one of my recommendations for today. Yes, buy it. Aswan Ice, any thoughts for Euro USD? Tinitigan ko kasi kay Euro USD is overall trend. Um, and then, uh, Euro, Euro USD. Right. Overall trend and then intraday. Intraday po siya yung ginagawa nyo dapat for, ano, for, uh, for what they call this, for, for Forex, right? Overall trend is yes, downtrend, so mahira po ito ngayon. Though there is a support right here, let's see what will happen in the future. I always wait for the stock to start a good trend before I look at the intraday. But for now, downtrend pa po siya, so I cannot. Uh, though nang sa sideways na siya, uh, may sideways siya na signals. I don't want to trade it yet. Downtrend pa siya, especially right now. Um, once I see an uptrend, if ever I can draw something here, let me just do this instead para makapag drawing ako sa chart niya. Alright. 
And so, what if it, once it does this, right here and makes a higher high and higher low, that is when I will start trading it, especially sa uh, especially sa forex which is very volatile. So once it starts an uptrend, this is where I start doing intraday kay Euro USD, right for forex. That is what we did before. So inantay lang po namin yung mga stocks na nag up I mean yung mga um, assets na nag uptrend before we wanna trade it intraday. Okay, because you're working against at, at, at the trend kasi if that's the case. So you release USD. Um, antay lang. Antay lang tayo mag-uptrend before you wanna go aggressive on that. Especially sa, um, sa mga nangyayari globally right now. So, yan. Genki, Yoshida, TBGI. Sir, TBGI is still okay. Recommended that yesterday. It's still good to buy. Pwede pa po. Buy stocks that support holds. Um, Sander. Um... Hi, Sir Lloyd. Pacheck si VLL. Bias lang as the support holds for VLL. Artworks, Overlord. T, Sir. Ano insights mo? Thanks, Sir. Si T, um, abang lang muna tayo ng pullback. Never get in at the top. Huwag po kayo maingit dyan. John Johnson. What kind of materials we used for the fish cage? HDP. Hindi po. Um, bamboo lang po sa atin. Ang HDP costs 700,000 pesos. So, medyo mahal po yan. Right? In the long term, maybe. We can shift to that. But for now, um, yung ginagamit po ng pamilya ko is, ano, is bamboo cages po. Uh, you can see it in the video if you go to www.mangisla.org. Check it out po, mangisla.org. Um, just click here to see the full video right of our cost. And then makikita nyo po dyan, it's the cages are square. Ang HDPE po kasi meron po mga HDPE dito, eto mga ito. Um, bilog po sila and uses um, para siyang PVC pipes na item. Right. Um, meron po dyan yung mga can afford are uh, using HDP there but majority of uh, these are bamboo cages po right? and it's good for 4 years ang HDP is it can reach up to 10 years uh, so pang long mas longer term po ang HDP um, cages very good you're very ano, you're very knowledgeable about this John Johnson you did your research Galing. Swiss Miss, positive earnings po si PIP sa first quarter nila. Tama po. Christine Talingting, maing buntag Sir Lloyd. Salamat sa pag sa lahat ng mga newbies. God bless po. Thank you so much. Ha um, I'm happy to help. Angela Vlog. Sir, IRC po. Si IRC naman. Um, it's okay, right? As, but get in the support as much as possible. Sir, Lloyd, regarding disclosure na MBT about stock dividends. Oy, magsa-stock dividends ba si MBT? Depends on you if you're ito. Hindi naman gaano kalakihan ang dividends ng mga ng Metro Bank. So, it doesn't, it's not really, a, it's a, it's a non-factor. So, I don't really, uh, I don't really look for it. Yung mga GMA7, pag nagbigay ng dividends yan, bongga. So, yun dapat. Right. Um, Joseph Facundo, sir, new subscriber niyo po from Kuwait. Ask na po ano mga suggestion yung stocks as newbie, swing trader. Salamat. Right. Uh, those are my recommendations for today. Um, binigay ko na po sa inyo. Let me post it again sa chat room. Alright, Geoffrey Alob, sir, good morning. Watching here from Oman. Insights po kay X. Si X nagpo-pull back pa. Alright. Ay, meron pa na pa lang ano. Just wait for the green. Right? Pag nag-green yan dyan, then that definitely buy it. That uh, will be a higher low price action. So, um, maganda po yung signal. But you have a, the good thing is you have a support right here. So, at least may cut loss po kayo levels. Ma Makapag-plano po kayo na maayos. Isabella M, nakapasok ko kahapon kay BPI. Nakita ko gumalaw. Tapos nakita ko kasama siya sa reko mo. Thank you. I'm learning. You're welcome, Isabella. Richard New, naipit na naman sa PHA. Depende. Depende on your plan. Right? Um, kasi if ang plan nyo is just to buy more, you don't consider that ipit. Maipit yan. For example, ang plano mo is to mag-cut loss tapos hindi ka nag-cut loss. Yan, ipit ka na. Abib Shabab, sir, trend na ba si ELI? Si ELI, kamustahin natin? Uy, ganda ng volume ng bounce ni ELI. Ah. Um, it's not yet an uptrend. Alam natin ang uptrend is it gives us a higher high and it gives us a higher low. That's an uptrend. So for now, um, do, showing good signs, right? Uh, it broke MA20, so most probably tapos na yung downtrend niya. Hindi natin alam, baka mag sideways lang yan. So, we can't say for sure what the trend is as of the moment, right? So, Don Manluyao, right? Don Manluyao, good morning, sir. ECP po, may incest po kayo. Let's check out ECP. Basta yun natin, nag-support yun si ECP, eh, right? It's back down to the support, and then nagpupula. So, 
Let's see what will happen. Um, pag nagkaroon tayo ng buy signal, we'll check it out. Right? Maganda yan kasi nasa low risk position na naman si ECP. Pag nag green yan, most probably mara-recommend ko yan on Monday. Antonio de la Cruz and good morning. Um, JGS paliog. Si JGS medyo mataas pa. Nag-aantay ako mag-pullback si JGS. Right? Sunod-sunod na green yan. Let's, let's wait for the pullback and bounce before we want to enter uh, JGS. Lu Wang, MWC. Um, yun yung MWC, di ba? Ayan. So, MWC. Nagre-resistance pa eh. Let's see what will happen. We'll need further price action. Baka mag-breakout sa resistance na yan. Um, let's check out the MWC a few days from now. So, for now, undecided po ang market dyan. John Lynn Tomasi, Sir Lloyd Insights, please new disclosure sa TBGI today. Oy, may disclosure sa TBGI. TBGI. Um... Ah, show on some share. Ah, maglalabas sila ng shares. Most probably. Um, ah, for ATN naman ito. Uh, I'll check this out, okay? Um, I'll consult this also, but and uh, for ATN lang naman ito na ginawa, ginamit nila yung stocks nila pang bayad most probably right, um, we'll discuss more about it let's check this out today right, so doesn't really affect the public shares so okay lang naman for now oh, Coach Green please we talked about Green already Ayan, um, 9.13 um, time check Paul Henrik Untaya good morning uh, pakicheck ang AGI pumasok po ako noong Wednesday at 14 pesos price AGI so far so good so, so far so good sa AGI. Recommended it here. Um, and tumaas pa naman. I think mag-uptrend pa ito. It's playing above MA20 already. So, most probably this is the pullback already. And baka magtuloy-tuloy yan. AGI has very good um, uh, disclosures lately. So, that should invite investors. So, uh, so far so good. That's why I, that's one of the reasons why I recommended it. Um, Mon F all, as of 9.10 opening ng ISM is 6.50 FYI. Let's check out. Um, let's open another chart. Let's go to projected price. Come stay natin si ISM. Ayan, ISM 6.5. Very good. Uh, that's a good opening. Si now naman, medyo mataas right? Kaya good congratulations sa mga pumasok kay now. Okay, so far so good. Good opening ng market. Hindi naman gaano aggressive city. Aakit pa. But then again, that's high risk position. Kung gusto nyo maging investor kay T, that's an investor entry. See, that's up, it's up to you. Ano po opening price ni ISM? Ayan po. Um, opening price ni ISM right now is 6.5. Um, Noel Taranco. Uh, Don Man Manluyao. Thanks Sir Lloyd. More power watching from UAE. Good morning po sa inyo dyan. Cafe Vito, sell na po ba tayo sa ISM? Solo news dapat discarded di pa. It's up to you. Alright, it's up to you. Um, mahirap i-sell on news yun kasi um, nasa baba naman siya. Right? <laughs> Hindi naman siya nasa taas. Mahirap yung news pero nasa taas. For example, nasa tuktok tapos nagka-news. Most probably magka-sell on news. Pero yun, nasa consolidation area. Eh. So, consolidation pag may news, walang, walang magsa-sell kasi usually ang mga tao andyan rin. Eh. So, kung magsa-sell man, yung mga nasa baba. Pero consolidation kasi siya. So, accumulation period pa lang siya. The news will just make it go up pag nagka-consolidate pa lumabas. Pero pag nasa taas na yung stock, Tapos nagka-news, yes, usually sa, sa lo news mangyayari. Emmanuel, grabe, may nag-bid na naman kay SM 9.63. Ay, mga fake bids lang yan, pang-hype yan. Okay, magpapa, uh, magpapadala dyan. Salamat po, Sir Cafe De Vito. Right, so, yes, um, that's it for today. Uh, it's a Friday, so konti ingat lang. Especially kay ISM, baka mag, nag hype yung mga tao tapos bintahan kayo. Huwag po kayong papasok dyan sa taas, please. Right? The recommendations I have, i-recommend ko po yun si ISM kung meron tayong magandang position mahanap. Yung nga lang ang challenge pag nasa taas na, hirap maghanap ng magandang position dyan. Uh, mag hirap maghanap ng magandang entry. So, for now, ito lang muna ang recommendations ko. These four. And these should give you low-risk positions. That's the point of trading. Si ISM kasi... Pag nag-iingay kasi ang isang stock, I don't really want to uh, get in that stock, right? Um, dun, dun tayo po mapasok kung medyo mellow na siya, right? Kasi once it's already noisy, then magbebentahan na yan, right? So, that's it for today. I'll see you again. 
uh, Monday, right? Uh, we have something up for the weekend. Um, you can check it out. Uh, guys, sa Itoro po, there is an Asia Trading Cup and the price is, the first place is quarter of a million, right? Quarter of a million po ang presyo. Check out this link and dyan po sa video description. It's, um, it's, uh, it's the Asia competition for trading. And you just need to trade your real money and if, if ever nag-join kayo, kayo yung pinakamalaking gains, you can get to win $5,000 for uh, for the first place, second second place is um, three thousand dollars. That's still a hefty amount. Um, and then lastly is and uh, let me open it. And third place, ay hindi, hindi rin ito. Iba rin ito. I'm just gonna just gonna share this to you next week. Third place is one thousand dollars. Still okay, right? Lucky pa rin yan. And then, two thousand dollars and then the rest is one thousand dollars and then seven eight nine ten is five hundred dollars right check it out right trade and win in eToro that's it for today i'll see you again monday as always let's get rich together thank you so much bye bye